seven and one half million African people survived capture and inhumane voyage to the new world and were forced into slavery. And whereas it is shamefully unknown how many died during the efforts to capture these people, and an additional two million people did not survive the cruel journey from Africa. Whereas these enslaved people were subject to whipping, castration, branding, rape, and tearing apart families for generations over a span of 200 years. And whereas when, sla when slavery of these people was legally ended, the news did not reach the frontier areas of the United States, in particular, the state of Texas and other Southwest areas until months after the conclusion of the Civil War, more than uh, two and one half years after President Abraham Lincoln issued his proclamation, his Emancipation Proclamation, on, Jul on January 1, 1863. And whereas on June 19, 1865, Union soldiers were led by Major General Gordon Granger of Galveston, Texas, with news the Civil War had ended and declared ens the enslaved to be free people therein. Whereas formerly enslaved people celebrated June 19th as Juneteenth Independence Day, inspiring and enc encouraging future generations of African American people. And whereas Juneteenth Independence Day celebrations have been held in honor of, maybe I read that, no, I didn't read that twice, excuse me. Whereas Juneteenth Independence Day celebrations have been held in honor of African-American freedom while encouraging self-development and teach respect for black culture. Whereas due to systematic uh, systems of oppression, such as sharecropping, Jim Crow laws, redlining and mass incarceration, the plunder of black bodies and black wealth persists to this day, affecting the physical, mental, safety and education of African-American people. Whereas the faith and strength and character demonstrated by former enslaved people and their descendants of, and the descendants of formerly enslaved people remains an example for all people of the United States of America. Therefore, let it be resolved that the city of Saline, uh, that let it be resolved that by the city of Saline, the city of Saline declares that June 19th as Juneteenth Independence Day. Therefore, let it be resolved uh, that we declare this uh, to occur on the 19th and we and the city clerk will sign this document on the 15th day of june 2020 thank you for your work on this it's an important symbol and message to send to to the residents of our community uh, and beyond uh, referring back to the agenda this evening we come to the second public comment period under the open meetings act any citizen may come forward